You know, it, it, it took them years and years to finally give the community what they wanted. You know, they had it in one year, they took it out, people been clamoring for it, you know. Everybody's wanted this for so long and it finally feels good to have it back. And I I just, I'm just so excited because it just means that me and all my friends can enjoy it and everybody in the world can enjoy it. And also, I can't believe it's not butter. Because it's not, but it looks like it. What is going on, y'all? It's your man Mike Ty in the Gaming Survive, and today I am bringing some news that me and probably every diehard 2K fan has been wanting ever since 2011, and they finally brought back crew mode in the form of NBA 2K16 program. Uh, behind me, if my green screen's working correctly, you will see the trailer. I'll leave the link down below. They released this yesterday, and I pretty much plastered it everywhere that anybody would watch me type links and put it at. So pretty much, Pro-Am mode, we get the locker room. You can customize your court, you can customize your jerseys if you're a weird Steph Curry fan and wanna play basketball with his face on your court and your jerseys, you can do that. Now, quick side note I just thought of, it'll be interesting to see what their, like, I guess, policy is against certain pictures that people upload, cause you know you're gonna have the jerks who are gonna try to upload like photos of very, reproductive organs of males and females and I'm just very interested if that'll pass through or not. Probably not. They probably have censorships, censorships and stuff like that. But yeah, we pretty much got it back. Um, it'll be NBA rules. Uh, create your own court. Create your own uh, jerseys. You can customize pretty much everything. Although I don't know why they had Papoose as a song in the trailer. I don't know whose idea was that to have him in there. He, I mean, it has not Serena Dream even came out yet? I, I don't know, it probably has. I probably have it somewhere on my hard drive, but I, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, so 2K Pro-Am, pretty much next-gen version of NBA 2K Crew Mode. Now, it will be interesting to see because they did show a screenshot where it looked kind of like the park where you had like six, it was like four or six courts and all people playing. Now, they will say it will be instant matchmaking, no waiting, so I'm probably sure it'll just be you and whoever's on your team. Y'all get in the lobby and then you'll search for a match of another five, four players. It'll also be interesting to see will it be exclusively five Five on five or will you be able to do like in 2k11 where you could have like two 2v2 3v3 4v4 and then the people who aren't selected just be cpu teammates it'll be interesting to see excuse me it'll be interesting to see will 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 it be like uh because you can use your my player in this mode will it be like 2k11's crew mode where you just choose a base team like you know you choose a dallas mavericks los angeles lakers and then you just put your player in position and you bring people off the bench will that be in it that news we haven't gotten yet but pretty much i'm very stoked for this mode also I just I just want it to work. That's all I wanted to do. I want the servers to work. I want to be able to get into a game. My thought, my prediction is that it probably won't work the first week because so many people will try to get on and we all know 2Ks has the worst online servers of probably any sports game. So it'll probably won't work for the first week and they'll probably put out a patch like a week or two after it comes out. But I'm excited for it. Now, two, there's two coins to this. As a 2K fan, a person that loved 2K, I haven't really been into 2K the past couple of years. If y'all watch my past videos, y'all know that I really have not messed with 2K that much. Um, but it, it, to me, I can understand why they did this as a business move. Because it's like, oh my God, Live is putting out all this good footage, all these photos. You know, Live looks amazing. The 2K just like LD2K did in that video he posted on Instagram, just drops the mic and be like, hey, we're bringing back crew mode. But here's the thing about it. Why did y'all take it out in the first place? Like you notice, it says instant matchmaking. Did you know that in 2K13 on Xbox 360, you could play three on three blacktop, instant matchmaking, no park mode, you didn't have to wait or anything? They took that out on next gen. So I guess I can understand why as a business move, they would do it to bring back in to get all the people who were hating on 2K to love it again. But my mind as a consumer, as a gamer, is like y'all had the perfect game in 2K11. Perfect gameplay, perfect my crew mode, 
And y'all know everybody played my crew mode. Yes, there were bugs and glitches, but for the most part, the community loved uh, loved crew mode. Why did y'all take it out? You know, it, it's kind of like 2K always does this. They have these great features in games, and then like Madden does this as well, but they have these great features in games that they have it in one year, it gets like really good, and then they take it out and then they bring it back years later. So it's like we're being refed stuff we've already had in the past, but we've had to deal without because this is a yearly title. And a, fit, a remedy to that would be that if this wasn't a yearly title, you know, we wouldn't have that problem. If they, if they, if 2K would have just used 2K11, used that build, used that gameplay, those modes, and maybe charge like 10, $15 for updated rosters every year, I would be completely happy with that, but you know, most people aren't gonna go for that, and 2K is not gonna go for that. They make too much money off of my team and all that other stuff, so I mean, whatever makes them money, I understand that, but we're not here to dwell on that. We're here to celebrate the rejoicements of crew mode, or I'm sorry, Pro-Am mode being the new crew mode for next gen. So y'all leave me some comments below. Let me know what y'all think of 2K finally giving the people what they want. Also, do you think this will incline you to buy 2K? As I stated in videos before, I'm gonna buy 2K and live just because I wanna try both of them out. See how live, cause live is supposed to have a similar mode. Um, I think the Adidas run live mode or something like that. And just see what that's like and kind of compare it to the Pro-Am mode and see which one is better. My bet is Pro-Am Pro -Am mode will probably be better, but that's if the mode works online. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your man Mike Titan. <sighs> we finally got it back. It's like finding that long lost relative on, uh, what's that website that you can look for relatives on? Prehistoric.com or family.com, something like that. But I'm out this piece, gone.